Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. Right, you'll remember a few weeks ago when I bought the Spectrum Plus 3. It's boxed, it's got the original Curry's outer packaging, it's got the joystick, a few discs and stuff, but with the Plus 3, there was a problem with the drive. And I'll show you this now, I'm turning it on now. That's the only fault that we can find with it. Everything works on the screen in front of me. I've got the uh, plus three, one to eight plus three loader, plus three basic calculator and 48 basic. It says 1992, 96, 97, Amstrad, 897, 82, 86, 87. Amstrad PLC drives A and M are available. So I'm guessing that is A. There's no hard drives in these anyway, we're just a straight, what was on the, the chips and what comes into it was it being programmed so this video hopefully being one part you never know in my videos anyway probably around 17 part episode so good luck following um we're going to strip this down it definitely works it definitely needs a recap it definitely needs some sort of tlc on the drive i still can't believe i actually got this for 50 pound so i think there's a, there's a smudge mark there a very smooth mark there and it's like, must be when somebody's been doing, well, you've been playing like that. You play, I would play Elite with, I think it was M and N and Accelerate and then something like that. Oh, hello. Okay, pre extended mode and it comes up with, with loader. Okay. So, we're going to strip this down. Definitely works. I'm really happy with this. It could be all right as it is. I just plug in the future was 8-bit card into there, but it does need a little bit of a clean. There's some, there's some bits of crap in there. It, these things do collect a little bit of dirt over the years. They're not as bad as normal nowadays PCs with the fans going round and they'll suck the dust in. And you need to, if, you, if you're ever going to do a PC, you need to unplug them, take the side off, blow out or vac out or whatever you can do with them. Just make sure you don't do it when it's plugged in, there's a danger of it blowing up, but that's by the by in the minute. But what I want to do with this is clean it out, get it recapped, fix the drive, and hopefully this will all, it's all this will need. I can't get the RGB to work. So I'm guessing this, as well as the plus two, that I have, it's a different configuration on the cable. Amstrad just probably changed a couple of pins around from the from the original Sinclair version, so I need to get a new cable for that. So I don't think there's much bother with with faffing around too much with that. I try, I'd love to keep these as original as I could possibly can. Yes, upgrading is nice. That's where the Futures 8-bit comes in. So you just plug straight into there. So you haven't got any faffing, any over-the-top modding. It's just original with an extra card in it, which makes this thing play differently. So we need to get this down. Keyboard works perfectly, as part from the drive. So let's get this stripped and see what we can find, if there's anything broken or whatever inside. I suspect there isn't, so big thumbs up there. So let's get this open up and see what we can find. Now, first job for me, taking the power supply to pieces. It's unplugged. I just need to clean this out, just in visual inspect everything. It does work, fine. With the strength of the um, with the screws, I'm guessing this has never been opened. Yeah. Really good long screws in here. Holding everything in place. It's better than the plus two. These guys do better power supplies. Oh, okay. So they've changed the configuration. If you remember from the plus two video, the cross between here had another extra fuse and there's two on the board there. All I need to do, I'm not touching anything. I'm not faffing with anything. The, everything does look like it's perfectly usable, which it is. So I'm gonna give it a good blowout, bit of a clean, just to get rid of all the, the scummy dusty bits that's been settled in there, give it a bit of a clean, and that's that's this done. 
The only difference I can see with this and the plus two power supply is you've actually got black and red cables. The other one had just red, which was a bit weird. Uh, voltage regulators either side there look fine. Pastors don't look like the, the dome in it at all. I'm quite happy with that. So let's get this clean, blown out, and let's get on with stripping this thing down and seeing what we can find inside here. I know there's gonna be differences between this and the plus two, and I've actually got the plus two over there in pieces anyway. I've not finished with that. I'm still fettling and faffing anyway. This is gonna take a while to do with that one. So we'll get this one opened and get, get stuck in, shall we? There we go. It's amazing what a little bit of isopropanol and a toothbrush will do. Granted, this isn't my toothbrush. I don't use this as a toothbrush. Yes. But a little bit of cleaning, nothing major. I don't want to touch this, it works perfectly. So there's no point in me even faffing, but the dust, the grime, the grit that has been collecting for God knows how long has gone. It, it was so, it was quite easy to do, just give it a bit of a scrub and that's it done. So the power supply obviously works, let's put it back in there. It does look really good. So let's get the screws back in, all four of them, and then we'll start stripping the plus Plus three. I never thought I'd ever say that, you know, while you're in the garage. Never thought of a plus three. I had this Spectrum Rubikeed 48k growing up. I had two actually growing up. Killed both of them. So, um, yeah, I'm quite glad I've got a few of these in here that work perfectly. So, right, I've got a screwdriver with a torque setting, so I don't want to go too hard into it. perfectly fine. So I'll get this back together, then we can start stripping down the plus three. Right, power supply done, sorted. That's an easy job. I don't want to recap it, it works fine. If there's any problems in the in the future, I'll check the fuses, and then I'll check whether or not the, the caps have actually domed or bowed, or there's the a chance of they actually be exploding or whatever. So, Sinclair plus three is the one with the disk drive. The three inch disk drive, which is brilliant, because everybody else, after this, we're using a 3.5 millimeter disc drive. So, at least with this one, we've got five screws. I'm missing a foot. I can't think whether or not I've actually lost it in here or whether or not it wasn't didn't come with the, the extra foot, but I can, I can find another one of those. It's not a problem. So, all very high mounted. So, on some levels, Amstrad designed this quite well. Just a shame. It doesn't exactly stand the test of time much, but I do think this is a really good example of this. Take these pieces, they're all the same screws, five screws in there, and there are actually two screws on the side of here holding the disk drive in. I'll get those out while you see a quick jump cut, and I'll get that done for you. Now, screws are out, obviously, these are wood screws which are going to plastic so that the threads are thicker. The all five are exactly the same size. The ones on the side of the drive, I'm going to do a little bit of clean up. I might paint them afterwards when I've put them back in again. But they're obviously thinner threads anyway. So we know they're going into metal. So, right, here we go. First ever open, hopefully the first ever open, of the Spectrum Plus 3. Right, to start with, I can see there's obviously a little bit of difference anyway. We've got down here where the ribbon cables are. I don't want to hurt this too much, but if you remember on the plus two, there was a part on here for the LED. Now, if you look carefully, we'll have there that white connector with my fingers pointing. That does the LED. It's, it's That's very different, isn't it? Let's take that out. There we go. Squash the capacitor and let's go over to the side. Be very careful with this. Good God, this is really in good condition. Being careful getting the ribbon cables out. I mean, look at that, the, the actual keyboard. It's, it's as clean as the day it was bought. Wow. The other one that I got, the plus two, obviously had problems with it. A bit of fluff in here, but that's expected. It looks like, it almost looks like it's a new ripping it looks like a new membrane but this is I mean Michael who I bought this from I wouldn't put it anywhere near him that he's actually been inside this 
Okay, so we have, okay, we have obvious differences anyway. Same, 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 expansion, connector, printer, and external drive we have on here, which is completely different. The other board, let me get the other board. The plus two board that I have been working on I was hoping to get a part three out and it was all fixed and done by now, but it's not. But let me put that on top of there. There's a lot of extra, isn't there? There's a hell of a lot of extra. The chips, the IC1's in the same place, the RAM's in the same place. There's an extra one, two, three, four, five chips. Chip, 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 chip. Reset, reset ports. Everything is exactly the same, except external port. You don't have this part here anymore, it's over here, which they haven't put on, because they don't need to with a cassette player on there. But yeah, that's a good comparison, that. Everything is exactly the same place, except from resistors, chip. There's no resistors, capacitor on there, so that goes straight up from the side of here and then cuts across and cups up, cuts up, cuts up, cuts up and then probably to the edge of where the printer one is there. But even saying that, yeah, printer that, yeah. So it kind of just as zigzag its way across here. There's a lot of differences but a hell of a lot of similarities. Capacitor, this is, I have recapped this one with different types of cap, but they're still same variants anyway. I've actually done a mod chip on there for the uh, composite mod, even though I don't really need to, it should work through that. Well, that's still ongoing. Yeah, there's a lot of differences. This is obviously a lot dirtier than this. This is quite clean. Gone through, cleaned that quite well. So, yeah. Strange how the ROMs on the plus issue two, that's, that's an issue two as well. They're both issue two boards, but the, the, the plus three is a 70830, this is a 70833. So I think this might have actually been made after the plus three. But it's all on the last efforts of um, Atari to give us a, a home computer before everybody else does. It's a shame they don't do these sort of stiff stuff anymore, but yeah, progress, yada yada, things, whatever. I know what I'm on about, and so do you. Right, let's get a pot ready for all the screws. Bother with those. Right, screws looks like they've got one, two. That's the, that needs to come out, doesn't it? I think, since I've got two screws already out of this side for the drive, there might only be one here. Yeah, so plastic screw with an earth lead on it. Ooh. Okay, so we've got the same as what an old disk drive would have. A four pin power connector and a well it's very small an edge connector well a serial connector oh that doesn't does that come out it does come out it's logged onto there so i need to prise that in that gap there shows it's not being Nobody's been into this. Now this is the whole culprit of the problems. Some fluff in there, some dust, it's not in bad condition at all. Drive motor for the head. Looks like it's nicely greased. And that looks like the drive motor for... Ooh. Now that's the centre part for the... for the actual spin of the disc. Something just felt a little bit like something jamming on that. But I'm guessing it comes from there to there. With a belt. So spin that, that don't spin. So I can't see any any sign of a of a belt in there. So I'm guessing that's what the problem might be. Oh hello. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is something in there. There is part of a belt. I think I've lost it. Hmm. 
We were black on the end of there. Now, Velociraptor, who was one of my patrons. Do you want patrons? Yeah. A friend on Discord did actually say that he'd done similar to this with a 464. And he was cleaning out goo for quite a while because the belt looked like it had just completely degraded. Now I was hoping that the belt might have actually have just dried and then done like an elastic band with it just it just crisp off it'd be too dry. Now I don't know whether or not that's the case of that with being residue on the ends of the tweezers there. It might have, but it might be it's completely different. Yeah, my finger there. It might be completely different. If it's turned to oil then Great! That means a lot of cleaning to do. But it looks like one, two, possibly three screws to get this board out and then see what happens between where the belt is. Now, for the time being, let's get rid of plus two and let's get rid of the plus three motherboard and the keyboard. Let's concentrate on this, shall we? Right. I'm going to screw this. It might be more than this. I'm not sure exactly where, what and how. So let me do another cut again and you'll be there when I'm about to lift it off. Okay. Screws are out, screws out, screws out. I've also found out that I need to take this part off of here because the wires are wrapped round to hold the board back in. Also, there's a connection on the side there. Connection on the side there I need to pull off. Now, I've already been twiddling and two parts have dropped out, which is part of the belt, and I'm guessing the read-write pin, and I don't know where that goes. So let's get this open. It's very delicate, but it doesn't seem to want to come out at all much. So, maybe, yeah, the, the, the yellow and the orange ones down here, there's a board above it which needs to come out, but it's not. The belt you can see inside there as well. It's definitely gone, which is my problem. But unlike Velociraptors, it seems to be quite dry. Now, if you look inside the board, I've got a, there's a multicolored connector cable there held in by a piece of metal. I'll just remove that. Just just prise it up a little bit. Hopefully, it'll give me a little bit more room to get inside. You can see that. It's right at the bottom corner here. Mm. Not really. So the blue and white and grey cables are holding in, but they're soldered to the board. Okay. The best option would be to take that part off there. Just gonna screw in there. Mm. Take that off. I need a magnet, something with a magnet on it. Bring that screw. Now the rest of the belt's coming out there. Slides out of the back. There you go, that's better. That's a load better taking that part off. So the belt. Alright, let's get you over. On top of there, the rewrite bit there, another piece there, another piece there. That section looks okay. The motor has actually got another piece on it. It's stuck on there as well. Ah. So I don't want to knacker anything brassy up, but this does seem to be a little bit sticky there we go with the belt there's no harm in just gently scraping little bits off of the parts while I'm here all I'm guessing is that the noise this thing makes when it tries to turn on, is it's just spinning like crazy, it shuts off. That's all it does. Now I need to get this perfectly clean. Let okay, me see if I can get you in a little further onto where the motor is. There she is, right there, that, that cog there. She's a little dirty. 
nothing that some isopropanol, some cotton buds and a little bit of thyme won't cure and then yeah, I think I've been lucky with this because it's just it's, there's not much crap in there so we've been really lucky that the parts that have come off have been yeah it's a it's rubber it's 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 gonna break these things were never built to last even back in the 80s and 90s just rubber that's just done what rubber does goes hard over time so let's bin that lot get the cotton buds on here and here because so we have a new belt surprisingly or not because I was quite sure it would have been that problem and we'll get a bit of cleaning done. There's no point in doing the caps on here. They look quite short and fat on the actual board down here. I'm not bothered about doing anything else. I want to find out where the reed, because I think this is, there was a, somebody who actually selling the bells. There was a couple of these with it. They are very tiny pins, the reed right pins. And I think people lose them. It's probably going to go down that hole there. No guarantees, but since it's gone upside down, this will go over onto there then. So when it goes on for the switch, it will. Yeah, that looks like it goes in, goes in there. Yeah. Now well, that's lost forever now. Right, let's keep that out of the way in front of the television. Need to keep an eye on what's what. Right, I'm gonna get some cotton buds, get this cleaned. And once we're going to be putting this back together again, we'll start testing whether this actually works or not. I can't see why it wouldn't with a new belt. All right, cleaned up. Only used the one cotton bud because there was only that part that was stuck on on the actual motor itself. The part up here for the drive, yeah, it was perfectly fine. So we have ordered a uh, DataServe Plus 3 disk drive belt. Thank you very much to DataServe do pay for these, I don't get promotions or anything else like that, but it's nice to plug companies that do this sort of stuff when this these aren't available in the shops. So, oh, that feels good. So around the bag part there, around the motor, that looks like it turns rather well. Okay. Good, 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 good. A little bit of isopropanol on there. Clean up as I go. Don't really need a new cutting mat just yet. Not at that stage, I don't think, where I need to change every month. Quite like the blue. Right, visual inspection on the rest of it. That looks fine. It's fine. The capacitors look okay. I'm not bothering with anything that looks like it might need replacing. Caps look perfectly fine. I just need to put that cable back onto there. That pin over here, the other metal bend over. Not touching jumpers. Why are the jumpers on there? An LED. Jumpers go around to the other side, not connected to anything. I can see. As we're testing. So, yeah, that feels fine. We're gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and put back together now. Because I need to do a reverse of what I just did by taking, putting that bit back in, then this bit, and then trying to bend in too. So it's, it's a fiddle little thing to do but not impossible so I can tidy it up and I'll try and put this back together so obviously it looks like it was the belt that was the fault but let's not count chickens at the minute let's put this back together and see if she works right we're all back together again I won't say that was easy I won't say it was difficult but I won't say it was very easy to put it back together again Oh, it's the connectors, it's, it's the, where it was actually really put together quite close and quite compact. It's really a pain in the backside to put back, the, back together again, but I hope it's worth the effort. Connect it back in, connect it back in. There's a section on top of here, if you leave the screw lock cement in, then you can use that as a bit of a key to try and guide you exactly where the sensor's supposed to go. Underneath that, there was the sensor pointing upwards 
Oh no, I just remembered something. Uh oh. Ah. Word of advice. One, don't lose your um, pin of the right protect. And two, make sure you put it back in again before you do anything. Otherwise, you may have problems running this or using this later. It might actually work as a as a read only machine instead of a write. I assume that's the only problem with it. So I'm going to take these back out. It's, like I said, it's not easy, but it's very easy that you can lose things. So let's get back, I'll get back into this, put this in, put this into the spectrum and see if she works. And it's all back together properly, but we'll see if she works or whether or not it needs to calibrate and oil and lube and whatever else stuff, but it doesn't like it needs to, because everything all looks pretty much as it was. So give me a second again. Excuse me. Now, she's back in place, not screwed in, but I'm not doing that just yet anyway. Power's on, TV cables in. Let's see if this makes any more clicking noises. So power will come on to either, either click from plug socket. All I heard was a whir then. Screen's loaded up, put a disc in. Now I can't actually use this to actually load it on because it's got to leave the loader plus three basic calculator or 48 basic. I can't actually use this because I haven't got the keyboard rigged up, but I'll turn it off and on again. Disc, she spins. She spins. There she goes. Now, keyboard, keyboard. If I was a keyboard, I would be there. Right, I don't need the power LED in. Turn her off. So I want to flamingo things up. Push in. I know I'm pushing these in every single time. Just takes a little bit of threads away from it. Well the metal from it and I don't have access at the minute for another plus three membrane so at the minute it's a pain in the backside so let's turn her on I spun round I have access to the keyboard which you can't see there there we go <laughs> keyboard's over here let's go for down open the loader Turn. We're loading lights on the front. Oh, 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 I can't. You can't see it. You can't see the light. Can you see the light? She's loading in. Hopefully everything's lined up. Insert tape and press play. Oh no. Try a different disc. Let's have a look. Uh, return. Break twice? What? Play. Where's play on it, buddy? Right, so loader, go in. She's spinning, loading. Ooh. Okay, so she's not really working pro properly. Let's hope you've got an original disc. Right, locomotive software. Mallard Basic. Now this looks like it's an original disc, instead of something that might have had something on it. <sighs> side two, side one, CPM. Let's go there and press enter. Come on, come on. Definitely moving. No. Well, that's a shame. It doesn't seem to want to work. Insert tape and press play. Why does it want to go back to the plus twos version? To cancel, let me just return. Hmm. I think there's a good chance here that the discs do not work. Let's have a look. Programming tools, startup disc. So I'll try a Tandy startup disc. Gift from the gods. Uh, return loader. Oh, I've got a red board around there now. So it's loading. The drive's going balmy. You see? 
doing the same thing over and over because it's not loading. Stopped, rebooted. Okay, that's not a good sign, is it? Try it again. So it's trying at least. The motor's working fine. The drive motor's working fine. Let's go for super test one, I think. I don't think this is going to work, is it? Now it's rebooted itself back into standard super test one. There's a good, there's a good chance here that I've actually moved the sensors out of alignment. That's gone different. Oh, that I've got. Oh god! Yep, I've got. Oh, get out me way, you blooming connector! Why is that there? Excuse me, like. Oh, thank you. There you go. And you see, there's a okay, plus three games. So this does actually work. While well, the disk drive still goes round, this is working fine. So far, so good. Oh, that camera's not level, is it? The problem I set up. CRC data error, 120.1. Is there a good chance that the discs do not load because they're too old? They've been stuck next to a, a source for quite a while. I don't know. Oh, hello. I've got a menu on there at the moment. There's one snooker, two scrabble, three digi... Digitaria? And pipeline press four. Let's press four for pipeline. Is that a menu disc? Please wait while pipeline load. Oh, hello. Yes, she's loading. Out of memory. Hmm. Okay, that's very odd. It loads, but it doesn't. Now, I've already tried the Futures 8 bit card on this. And it worked fine. Hmm. Why would it be out of memory? What have I missing? Let's put snooker on as one. Hmm. And she's working quite well. She's reading on the disc. It's loading on the screen. So so far. Seems to be working perfectly fine. CRC data error, 45, 2.5. Okay. Well, like I said, there is an excellent chance that these do not and will not ever work. Let's try leaderboard. Now, this is going to come up with a proper disc cover, proper disc. These should be absolutely knackered. So let's try the last one, shall we? Loader, looting in. Sound good, does it? Let's try. Oh no, just reboot itself. I'm guessing on this that it's just a simple case of the discs are too old. And they've lost it. Which is a shame, but it, not unexpected. Yeah, I've got tape errors on that one as well. This is actually a shame that it doesn't load with what we have. But it's not saying it's not working, it's all going around pretty well. So I'm classing that as a as a as a pass. That it actually does work and everything is kind of happy and whatever, but it's the discs aren't working. But uh, that's a partial shame, but then again. You never expect these working perfectly anyway. So my next job is to recap the board as well as a good clean as well at the same time. So we'll get everything back out of here and get the board out and give it a good clean. I think. It's amazing what just a bit of a cleanup will do to one of these. I mean, granted they're not 
it wasn't filthy to start with. It was a little dirty, but nothing over the top, but it's, it's amazing just a little bit of blowing out, a bit of a clean, just, just brings it back exactly as it was. So I'm quite happy with this. I won't go underneath there, but not yet, because I need to recap. So I do need to good clean. I've got the extra foot on as well anyway, so now I've got four feet on this one, so she's now perfectly level. Well, even though the plastic is probably, no, I was going to say the plastic was warped then, but it's not. So all four feet are in. Hmm, let's stop far from that in case I break that. It's really, it's not a bad, you know, you see that and bends that out. It's not actually that bad, this. I'm going to do the capping now anyway, because it needs it. Anything like this desperately needs it. You can take the pieces, you've got screw, 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 and then you've got a screw with the plastic part on here, which goes through. The screws on top, plastic, and then the, the earthing cable that comes off it, which attaches to the drive. It, it holds the plastic in place as well. But also the screw goes through the top on the other half of the plastic. Just, just shields this part off anyway, I think. I don't know why, but but it'll shield it off from the earth for the drive, so it's drive protection anyway, so it'll stop anything on this side, not that side, touching anything in particular. So, yeah, always precautions you need to do. A little more of a clean. You can't clean enough, but there's gotta be a level of your own sanity where you have to stop. Because you can just clean and clean and clean, and then you realize it's all polished, and then you've completely ruined it. But just, just use do your own, yeah, use your own sense, do what you need to, and then you can't really go wrong. You can. I go wrong on a daily, daily basis, but hey ho. Mm -hmm. hmm. Where's that screw go to? I'll figure it out. Oh, it held the drive in on one of these. I'm sure it did. It's in that one, isn't it? Yes. Whew. Right. So. Recapping time. We have to go through with the keyboard as well, cleaning, but that's going to be at a later date for me. Might not be for you. If I put all this like, in one video, then you can see this later on. I'm taking the, just the um, keyboard to pieces. So, time to recap. Now, it's quite easy. There's only, I think there's 10. Sorry, 100 ultrafarad by three, which are these larger ones, which I think are there, do, 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 there, somewhere else, there. And then there's four, one, two, three, four, for the um, the other ones. Come with a cap kit, go to, oh, sells these now. Let's give, let's give them a free plug. Dumpty, 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 diddle dee. No. Nope. Oh, okay. Didn't want a free plug. I think, I'm sure it's Retroleum. Yes, it's Retroleum who sell a decent enough cap kit. This one will work perfectly fine for the plus three. Will also work from plus two as well because it's exactly the same capacitors that are missing off that one. So, nice one for Retroleum. It says for, this is for the plus three only. But, it's exactly the same and I can't see any problem with with using that one. I might not even use it on the other one because it does actually work without a cap kit. Well, with the ones I replaced already. So it does seem to be fine. Now I've got a good hour worth of, well, half an hour worth of soldering. You don't need to see it. So I don't need to film it. There's better videos out there of watching people do soldering, which I don't understand fully why you'd watch soldering, but I'm going off on a tangent because I don't want to do this just now. But let's get on with it. Get this recap. There we go. Recapping is done. Let me get this thing out of your way a second. Right. There's only seven caps on here anyway. Let's say one, two, three large ones, and then four smaller. Yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, and one, two, three. I think it's larger. The one microfarad, a little farad, 100, a little up. Yeah, there's, there's a. There's a. Um, yeah, there's plenty of kits out there. Go get one. They're very easy on the plus three, at least, anyway. Hmm. So, let's get all the old caps. Chuck them in the bin. They're not... Yeah, they wasn't bad. There wasn't any problems at all with them, but it's just preventative maintenance, shall we say. So, 
So what we're going to do now is put it back together. That's, that's really doing quite well. I don't think I need to do much on, on the actual edge connectors. They're not particularly bad. I mean, I like to use, if I can find it, yeah, a um, fiberglass pen just to rub over and polish this up a little bit. I watched a video the other day that said that these are actually solder. But I'm not fully convinced. Resolder them if you want. I mean, these do polish up a little bit by just rubbing over a little bit. It's just the fibres that are on here that just scratch the surface a little bit. Do it too much, they will rub through. But with a pen like this, you're going to be spending a long time doing it. I know we're going to use the printer. I can't understand actually because the printer's not connected to anything. Yeah, just follow trace down. It comes down from one to here, which is there, goes off down to here, which then comes up to here. There's nothing there. There must have been an upgrade kit that made you be able to do a printer. Because there's absolutely nothing here on the board that will make me think that you could put a printer straight to this. <sighs> is there any your earth which is out on the outer edge which would be any anything at all? There's no circuitry, no nothing, no chips which could actually make you use anything. Even down to here there's absolutely nothing rigged up. This comes up to this edge connector. The external drive. You go to dead ends, come up to here. Ah, you'll probably be able to use the drive anyway, yeah. The external, because they come to these bits, these bits come up to here and off. But the printers kind of go to there and then... Oh, maybe you can then. But they do go inside then. But it's on these bottom sections only. I don't know, I'm not fully convinced. Oh, maybe. Mm. I don't know. Hey ho. Maybe we've got a printer plugged into this one day and see what happens. But at the minute we're done. So what I'm going to do is put it back in the case. I'm going to see if this works before we take the, the keyboard to pieces. I did strip it out of the keyboard and the plus two. So it's exactly the same as that. I mean, these pens don't, they're bad on plastic. They're not good for them either. They just kind of scratch it a little bit. But yeah, probably best not do that. I haven't got one fine enough to actually polish the plastic up to a better standard. So, yeah, let's put it in back into the case and see if she still works. Right, back together again. Screws in, screws in. Forgot if that's a screw in there or not. I can't find one. <clears throat> Although it's not exactly needed. If I find one, I'll put one in. Why do I always miss out on a screw? Hmm. Five in there, two for the side. One, two, that seems more logical there and there. It's not really needed, it's been pinned down by the drive. It looks a bit silly when it was on. It'd be pinching up. Oh well, found one, we'll put one in. If not, we don't. Right, turn on time, let's have a look. Pin you down, switching on now. Haha, <laughs> you think you can do that, don't you? There you go, works fine. There's a little bit of a, it's not a brilliant picture, but then it's still using the coax. You need to use the composite cable, the RGB, but I don't have a cable for that at the minute, so this is actually working rather well. Taking exactly what I'm um, giving it, and it's, it's um, walking away quite fine. <coughs> okay, next job is the keyboard, this is working absolutely spot on. This is, like I say, it's going better than I hoped. So, um, yeah, let's go over the top half of this. I'm dawdling now, to be honest. I think this is going quite. This is quite easy. Quite impressed with how it's going together. Yeah, let's get on with the keyboard. And there's the keyboard out. Give it a bit of a clean. It's not exactly as clean as what I want to, but it's not actually as dirty as I thought either. Nice look, the keyboard. I could do with taking all these keys out and put them in the bath and sink or whatever, but. It's not bad as it is. Maybe at a later date, I'll um, give these a bit of a clean more. But I mean, the, the back of bank player, this is absolutely spotless, amazing. So it's held in surprisingly on this one by six screws. With the plus, rather well, plus two, 
was actually only held in by I'll find a screwdriver a bit, there it is. The plus two was actually held in by four. And there were two that went straight through. Straight through the um, casing, held everything in place. So so many subtle differences between the plus two and the plus three. It's um, quite nice to see it. So even there you'd have this one and that one on the plus two would have been straight through on the key keyboard, but you got part there, part there. So it looks like they actually more a lot better designed the plus three for doing all this than they actually did with the plus two. I mean the plus two is basically a copy of the uh oh there you go a bit more fluff in there I don't realise it was just a copy of the grey plus two where Spectrum obviously wanted to get away from the black image something a bit more friendlier with a grey one and then Amstrad wanted to go straight back to black yeah okay so final one needs to put in both ribbon cables on here the LED instead of the five pin which would have the tape deck which would have been here it was actually over here but isn't used so make sure you plug that in as you're going down right way around watch out for the ribbon cable sticking out or being trapped it's very close to there but it's just been pushed around by there right that was six screws where would i be Let's have a look, see if I can find them. I think I've lost them. Okay, when I mean gold, I mean black. <sighs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day doing this. So black, black. Ah, they're the thinner ones that go and hold the drive in place. Hold on, something's not right here. It's really not right. There we go. Better, I think. Yeah, the... the you read that before on one of the others. The case just doesn't line up properly. Hmm. So, that around. Okay. Always be careful with old plastics. Because they'll be just soon enough. So, don't forget the two thinner ones on the end holding the drive in place. Come on, Ralph. I say it's been a long day, this. And the plus three is now back all together. Power supply in. Aerial in. For the time being, TV aerial in. Turn her on, she lights up. Actually, it's not as light as what the um, plus two did, but then again, I did put a new LED in that and screen showing <sighs> the basic loader for the plus three. So, job done. I'm really happy I've actually got this working, finished. Loader, in you go. Whizzing her away. She's actually loading something. She's attempting to load something. And she's working fine. I'm gonna try a different side because the discs obviously don't want to work properly. Try to side B. Okay, didn't like that disc. Yeah, I'm getting different results from different discs. So I'm guessing a lot of these just don't want to work. See, there's one of the minute is coming with a plus three, so it's obviously a hacked game, I think it is, hacker's game. So it's plus three games. Yeah. 
working absolutely fine. So I'm happy enough with that. All working perfectly fine. That's still loading in. I'm going to go start playing some games with this now. Get the Futures 8 bit card plugged into the back of this. Get to play some more. <sighs> Job done. Job done. Another Spectrum saved from. From well, I don't say from anything really, it's just, just brought back into the 21st century. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Quite quicker, this what, what this one was only one part, so I'm quite happy with that. So, I must be getting good at these. I have to start the business. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If you if you like what you're seeing, please thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, consider following me on Patreon. Um, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram I think I'm on, or is it Pinterest, oh, I don't know, something like that. The links are below anyway, they're always below. If not, have a, have a word with me on um, on, pay, on Discord, I'm always on Discord, so have a word with me there and, and see, have a chat with me if you want. Otherwise, please like, subscribe, the more subscribers I get, the better I think I'm getting. And, and oh, maybe I'm not getting better, you, you're, you're better judged than, than I am anyway, but... Yeah, but I'm just happy I've got, got all the spectrums all working fine now. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.